Hello, and welcome to the Tower Coffee Hour. I am your host, Preston, or Ty Tyree, and I enjoy bringing you the news of the Miller neighborhood in Austin. Today we had a special event in Miller, the Dawn Project, that is dedicated to making computer software safe for humanity, it was working on Camacho Street by Lake Park to test the new self-driving Tesla automobiles that are scheduled to be deployed in Austin as driverless taxis. Warning, some of the scenes in this video can be disturbing as they model children being struck by automobiles. In all states, it is a requirement that drivers stop when a school bus is stopped and displaying flashing lights and signs. Tesla has been unable to get their software in the self-driving cars to recognize school buses that are stopped to pick up or drop off children. The final sequence of this video is from the inside of the self-driving Tesla and shows where the software had issues. Okay, so we ran into an interesting development this morning. We've got a school bus parked over here on Camacho Street. And we asked what they were doing. And we look over across the street and there's some young people or mannequins of young people in bright green coats on board with ropes. And so what we hear they're doing is they're gonna be testing a Tesla <laughs> to see if it sees kids waiting across the street for the bus. I mean, we, we've done these tests before, actually, and uh, oftentimes it does just hit the mannequin. Uh, really? we, we've been doing this for a few years, actually. Yeah. We've, we've run Super Bowl ads, and we've, we've been shouting about it. So they've got cameras on top Morning. of the cars. How are you? Good. If you come by at 11, it all gets exciting. Well, that's what I was thinking. I may have something else to do, so I thought I'd get what I can now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so fly if you want some stuff. information. Thank you very much. Okay, so in my... Uh, Assuming that you are not we, we with Tesla? No, we are not. <laughs> we're with, a, with an organization oh, called the Dawn Project. Okay. Um, yeah, and our, our slogan is making computers safe for humanity. So anytime, anywhere that computers are in control of something that could oh, kill someone, it's, 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 our job is to call that software out. These things, these things don't see bikes. No. And, yeah. and motorcycles as well. I think five motorcyclists have been killed by this. Self-driving is the thing. So this ought to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> so have you named it? They're all called Timmy. We all don't go, otherwise we get to attach to them. <laughs> but they don't last long, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> Today we are here demonstrating to show that uh, Tesla's full self-driving software still does not stop for um, a school bus with its stop signs extended and its red lights flashing. We first identified the safety defect back in November 2022. We did a full page ad in the New York Times with an open letter to say, Dear Tesla, we have identified the safety defect in your vehicle. Please will you fix this? Tesla responded with a cease and desist letter. They claimed that we had faked our tests and that their car would never do that. So we got some cameras and we recorded it doing it. And we then ran that on the Super Bowl two months later. Elon Musk's only response to our Super Bowl commercial was to crow on Twitter that at least people will know we have a self-driving car now. Two months after our Super Bowl commercial, four months after our full page ad in the New York Times, Tesla in self-driving mode went straight past a school bus in North Carolina and ran over a child, broke his leg, it fractured his neck, and he was in hospital for four or five months on a ventilator, and he's still not quite right from this. That was nearly, that was over two years ago now. We have been banging this drum saying that Tesla needs to fix this safety defect for three years now, and they've still failed to do it. So we are here today to demonstrate um, in Austin on the date that Tesla was originally planning to launch its unsupervised robo-taxis to show that this software isn't safe and Tesla doesn't take safety seriously. This is not a particularly difficult issue for Tesla to solve considering what the car is actually capable of and we are very disappointed in the fact that they are failing to do anything about it. If they cannot fix it, they should give up on trying to make a self-driving car because they will never be able to make one. If they can fix it and they're choosing not to, they should be prosecuted um, because they're well aware of the defect. Uh, so I've been working with the Dawn Project for three years. 
Uh, the Dawn Project was set up by Dan O'Dowd. Dan is um, the world's leading expert in software that never fails and can't be hacked. He has written, he's written the operating system that runs the F-35 fighter jets, the B-1B intercontinental nuclear bomber, the B-2 bomber. Uh, most uh, major airliners in the sky run his operating system. It has never failed, it has never been hacked, despite being attacked by you know <laughs> everyone in the world. Ten years ago, there was this trend of putting computers in charge of everything that our lives depend on. Then the, that which is, you know, has its own problems, but the real problem is then hooking all of those computers up to the internet with software that is insecure, vulnerable to cyber attacks, and just riddled with bugs. So the Dawn Project is, has been founded to, um, our motto is making computers safe for humanity. So any computer that is capable of killing somebody or to hurting someone um, and, and the software is not up to scratch like it should be for something like that, our job is to call it out, draw attention to it and hopefully get it fixed. I've always cared about safety and, and things like that and um, yeah, this just seemed like an ideal job. I also got to move to California. Um, it, has, it can be quite stressful at times, driving this thing around and testing the new versions as they come out, but there's a part of me that quite enjoys the, the thrill of it. So this, as you're seeing now, because it's got all the little helpful information on the screen, is a um, test drive vehicle that we acquired from Tesla yesterday. Tesla um, is offering 48 hour test drives on the Model Y, um, and so this is the, you know, brand, it's a brand new car. Um, it um, is exactly the same, come on, what are you doing? It's exactly the same car that um, Tesla is planning to deploy on the streets of Austin um, unsupervised with um, nobody nobody ready to take over if it does anything stupid. I'll just show you on here. So you can see here, Model Y, long range, dual motor, whatever. Uh, 1400 miles on the clock and it has the latest version of Tesla's full self-driving software which is 13.2.9. Um, you can see here, the software is up to date. Um, we also have a flashlight in the footwell here, so you can see that I'm not pressing any pedals or doing anything to interfere <laughs> with the car. Um, I will, um, I, if I have to disengage for any reason on the way round or whatever, I'll, I'll tell you why and what I'm doing, just so that you know what's going on. Um, to start it, it's quite simple. You press this, you tap the brake. The car is in now in self-driving mode. And we're off. Um, in 500 feet, turn left onto Zach Scott Street. So yeah, this is the car driving. I will just keep sort of two fingers on the steering wheel just in case it's about to do anything we're not expecting, just so I can stop it. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, if I do, oh, what's that? I don't know. It's not done that on any of the other runs. It breaks. Yeah. On its own. On its own. Um, so have we seen that cyclist? We have seen it. Tesla's listening to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the car. <laughs> Um, well, they are watching us yeah. through this little camera up here. Hi, Tesla. Um, Can you point to that again? Just up here, there's a little camera that's just there to um, check that I am paying attention to the road ahead um, and that I haven't fallen. What are you doing? That I haven't. Oh, no. Sorry, that's a bit, that's a bit close. That, that was me disengaging there. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was just a bit close. <laughs> Gone wow. Through it. Um, right, that's... Had that happened before? Uh, it had done a little wiggle before, but it hadn't done like a I'm going to hit that car before. Mm. Um, so this is me driving at the moment, but now this is this Tesla driving. Hopefully, it's going to turn left down here. Thank you for engaging. Did you see that, Elon? <laughs> <laughs> so, and as you can see, the car, you know, is it's quite impressive what it can do in terms of you know just driving and doing. But as soon as you get to any sort of abnormal situation, that's when the car panics, does something dangerous. Um, and you know it does. It will also just do even in normal situations like that. We were just pulling up to that stop sign and decides to swerve in towards another car. Um, but yeah, Elon says that when you have this on, you are four times safer than if you were just driving yourself. I will I'll let you be the judge of that. Um, so up ahead here we have a school bus, um, which will in a second have its stop signs extended, its red lights flashing, um, and it will be illegal to blow past it. Um, so you can see here the stop signs are out. They've even put flashing lights on the stop signs oh to make goodness. it really obvious for it's us. It's not slowing down at all. And it's not slowing down at all. It's no. visualizing it as a truck. And here we have no. a kid darting <gasps> out. And we've Shit. squashed him again. And the car, look, it's still engaged. I haven't done it. Oh, oh. Make sure you oh. Really oh. Get I him. felt the bump. Oh. Oh. oh my god. The oh. bump. And there it is, and it's just carrying on like it's just a normal Thursday morning, like I've just run someone over and I'm not going to tell anyone. <laughs> wow. So, after that ride-along, I am sure that I don't want these vehicles deployed in Austin 
and his driverless taxis. Please let your local and state representatives know what you feel about this issue. Click on the subscribe button below and click the like button so we can continue bringing you the special news of Miller. Thank you and goodbye.